To militarize the MH-139, we start with the AW-139 commercial helicopter, and then we add some of the capabilities to it that are unique to the Air Force mission. Washing out the controls. It moves uh, a lot of people quickly, has a lot of power. Um, it's safe. Uh, it's simple to fly. It's a modern glass cockpit uh, with, uh, with all the capabilities that, uh, quite frankly, the airliners have. Uh, the capabilities of the autopilots. The aircraft will fly itself. So when we say capable, we mean the aircraft is able to go do the missions the Air Force is looking to go do. When we say it's right sized, we say it, it is about the right size to go do this mission. It's not too big. It doesn't mean you're carrying extra capacity to go do this mission, which translates into the third part of this, which is really it's affordable. The aircraft is much cheaper to fly than other competitors, and it's much cheaper to, to fly and support than the UH-1N that it's going to be replacing. I'm having flown um, many, many of the military helicopters that are out there, pretty much all of them. Um, when it comes to power, there are very few uh, in this class that can beat the 139. We've submitted our proposal. We're pleased with what we've provided to the Air Force. We're confident we meet all the requirements, and we think we're going to wow them when it comes to what the overall price was and the features that we're going to offer in our aircraft. <laughs>